JiveTel Training Series Hi, and welcome to the JiveTel Training Video Series. My name is John, and I'll be walking you guys through some of the key features and functions for using our smartphone app, also known as JiveTel Mobile. I'm going to assume you already downloaded the app on your phone and it's working properly. If not, head over to either the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for JiveTel Mobile. Download the app and log in using your portal credentials. If you don't know your portal credentials, go to portal.jivetel.net and use the forgot login name and or the forgot password feature to recover your login username and password. Regarding smartphone security settings, follow the instructions on your phone, allowing the permissions it requires for the app to operate properly. Home screen overview. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with what we see on the screen and the various buttons. Your name is displayed at the top left corner of your screen when the circles surrounding your name become solid rather than a dotted or dashed line. That means you're connected and ready to make and receive calls. The bottom red section contains icons for quick dial, keypad, contacts, SMS messages, voicemail messages, and your call history. We'll get to those shortly. If you prefer, you can jump to the section you want by clicking the chapter section located below in the description. Handling calls, making a call. If you're not on the keypad screen, load it by clicking the keypad icon at the bottom of your screen. Dial the number and press the green call button. Redialing. To redial the last number you just called, press the green call button twice. Answering a call. That's easy, right? Putting a call on hold. When on a call, press the hold button. Notice how the hold button turns white. Press it again to take it off of hold. Transferring a call. Unattended and attended. Unattended transfer. Also referred to as a blind transfer. It means transferring a call to an extension without giving the recipient a heads up before sending them the call. To do this, press the transfer button. Dial the extension number and press the green call button. The call will automatically transfer to the destination extension. If you change your mind before pressing the green call button and want to stay on the current call, press the green bar at the top of the page that says Dial to Transfer. Attended Transfer Attended transfer means giving the recipient a heads up by speaking to them first before sending them the call. To do this, press the Attended Transfer button, ATT Transfer. Dial the extension number and press the green call button. Let the person know who is calling and then press the blue transfer button to send the call. Transfer direct to voicemail. To transfer a call directly to someone's voicemail without the call ringing on the recipient's phone, press the transfer button. Dial start 9 and then the extension number of the person's voicemail you want to send the call to and then press the green call button. Transfer direct to a cell phone. To transfer a call directly to someone's mobile phone, press the transfer button. Dial the cell phone you want to transfer the call to and press the green call button. Three-way call. To add a third person to an active call, also referred to three-way calling, press the add a call button, dial the number. When the third person answers, press join. To break the three-way call and speak to only one of the callers, press split. You can then use the gray round double arrow button to switch between the callers. To rejoin everyone again, press the join button. Controls visible during an active call. Returning to the home screen of the JiveTel mobile app, back button. Tapping the back arrow during a call will return you to the home page of the JiveTel mobile app. This allows you to view your SMS messages, check if a colleague is on the phone, etc. To get back to the active call screen, tap the green back to call button at the top of the screen. Mute button. To mute yourself, simply press the microphone button. Press it again to unmute yourself. Speaker button. To put the call on speaker, press the speaker button, and to take it off speaker, simply press it again. Video button. To begin a video call, tap the video button and wait for the other party to confirm. At this time, video calling is only available between two JiveTel mobile app users. Record button. To record a phone call, simply press the record button. You'll hear a confirmation tone and the record button will turn solid white during recording. To stop recording, press the button again. Home page. Quick dial. Put your favorite contacts here for faster dialing. Press edit and then tap the plus button. If you're adding the extension of one of your colleagues, 
Turn on Busy Lamp field to see if he or she is available or busy on another call. Don't forget to press Save. Contacts Two sets of contacts are available, address book contacts and company contacts. The address book contacts are the contacts saved on your smartphone. The company contacts is the list of company employees. You can easily make a call or send a text message directly from your list of contacts. Messages SMS Sending text messages Click the Messages button. Click on the pencil to start a new conversation. Type your message and click Send. Copying, deleting, or forwarding a message. Tap and hold a message. Then choose one of the menu items that appear. Adding contacts from the Messages screen. Tap on a message. Tap on the three dots at the top right of the phone number. Tap Add to Contacts. Tap Create New Contact. Enter contact information and then press Done. Voicemail. Setting up your voicemail box. If your voicemail is not yet set up, follow these simple steps. Tap the voicemail button at the bottom of the screen. Tap the settings tab. Scroll down to the greeting section and press the record voicemail greeting speaker icon. Add a description and then choose a device. The system will then call you on the device you selected. The available devices will be your extension with an I for iPhone, with a J for Android, and your extension without a letter for your desk phone. Press the Call Me button when you're ready. Answer the incoming call from the system and follow the instructions to record your greeting, pressing pound when finished. An alternate method to set your voicemail would be the call-in method. Press Start 1 and Call, then follow the prompts. Choose Option 6 to manage and set up your voicemail greetings. Listening to your voicemail messages. If you see a small number over your name, that means you have new, unlistened to voicemail messages. To listen to your messages, tap the voicemail button at the bottom of the screen. The list of voicemail messages will be displayed. Filter the list to see new, saved, or messages sent to the trash. For each message, tap the icon to listen, forward, save, and delete. If you enjoy the pain of calling into a voicemail system to retrieve your messages, rather than simply tapping on a message, you can tap the red voicemail button under the keypad and follow the instructions. Additional voicemail settings. The Settings tab towards the top right allows you to customize your voicemail settings. You can record and manage your greeting, or enable voicemail to email notification, and turn on your JiveScribe voicemail transcription service. Don't forget to press Save. History Call History Press the History button to see a list of your outgoing and incoming calls. If you tap on a call, you can call or send a text message to that number. This is also an easy way to redial a recent phone number. Do Not Disturb DND. To turn on Do Not Disturb, tap your name at the top left. Slide the white Do Not Disturb button to enable it and tap Close at the bottom. A red DND badge over your name lets you know that DND is enabled. Don't forget to turn off DND when you're ready to start receiving calls again. That was fun! I hope you found this video enjoyable and educational. If you are watching this on our YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the little bell thingy to be notified when new videos are released. We really appreciate it. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions or issues and we'll be sure to address them ASAP. We make it easy for you to contact us, so either call, email, or use the online contact us form on our website. Make sure to include a good email and contact number in case we need to contact you.